under normal human situation, it is the superior that will do what? Now send in few. It don't cause trouble for marriages. Madam is cooking food, and he calls the husband, oh God, please, which man yes, if, if your wife is cooking soup now, nah, he will tell you, come and pound pepper for me. How many of you go go? Only one. He said he will go. In they go. In they go. Francis, you are raising your hand. They say you should put your hand down. You know they do. Kinsley, if, you tell, if I give you a Holy Ghost slap from here. You know, you know that for some men, if not many men, most men is an insult. So, some women, you don't even dare think about it. That's why I see a woman, she's cooking, she's doing everything. Because you are from a culture that the person who sends is the superior. But in the Trinity, I am telling you, because of the unity, the Father sends the Son. The act of sending does not diminish the equality and the substance of the Son. And the fact that the Spirit came from or by, it doesn't matter. It does not diminish their equality. And that's another lesson we should learn. Our problem is our ego. Why can't your wife send you? We have to come to that point when we shed, you know, those things that make us feel. So just imagine it, that the Father can send the Son of whom they are co-equal. They are equal. And the Son does not see it as demeaning. And in marriage, the two shall become what? One. Yet, madam cannot say, oh, God, her hands are full. She is cooking, she is washing. Nabiko, can you help me pound uh, pepper or do this without you feeling that? Onye kinawa, ayabobo, are we mates? If you pound that pepper, is it going to make you less of a man? And then the culture that says a man cannot do anything is part of the problem. You see, it is your personality influenced by your culture or your worldview that is the problem. It's not that act of sending. So when some men come to some other person's house and they see the man maybe doing the laundry or washing or doing certain things, they will say, hey, the wife has charmed him. <laughs> no, nah, your, nah, your own has finished. That is our culture. But we were made in the image and likeness of God. The Father. Jesus said, no one comes to the Father except through me. So you can imagine. In other words, anybody who must go to the Father must come to me. I determine for the Father who comes to him. Equality. Equality of their personality does not mean that they cannot do something on behalf of the other. So in the Trinity, there is no ego. And that's what Jesus wants us to lay down when he washed the feet of his disciples. We are human beings. We cannot be exactly like the Trinity. But we need to start on learning certain things. Even me talking to you now, even my own classmates now, our Chris, even when we are on the altars serving as MCs, John, go and bring a finger towel for me. First of all, I'll look at you. The, the only thing that we say that I will remember we are on the altar and people are watching. If we were not on the altar, I forgot Jack and who you they send. <laughs> but me going to bring what he sent me to bring, is it going to make me less of who I am? No. But the ego that I carry, we translate that into mean that I am his inferior simply because he said I should go and get something. That's why the church is putting this piece for us today to learn. Or oh God, you can do things for your wife. It does not make you less of a man. You can pound the arm. Pound pepper. Uh, help her to clean when it is necessary. Yeah, every time it is even necessary. You know? You can help her do a lot of things culture has stopped you from doing. It doesn't make you less of a man. Learn from the Trinity, the Father's. Jesus will even say it with pride. I must do the work of him who sent me. Sorry. I'm not gonna, uh, God the Father, I beg if you go. Son, Holy Spirit, go and continue your work. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Amen. It is that communion of love. Where there is love, you know, things don't, there is no offense. If you don't know any scripture by heart, know this scripture. The second reading. It is the last verse of 2 Corinthians. 
You hear it every Sunday or almost every Sunday. Once Father begins Mass, he does the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. What is the next thing he does? May the... I want all of us to say it. Oh, yeah. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and... May the grace... First of all, some people will say, where is Trinity in the Bible? You can get it in some scripture. Genesis 1, and God said, let us make man in our own image and likeness god is talking to himself the trinity the one who was creating was talking to himself you know the persons is in his image we were made then in um, isaiah chapter 6 when isaiah had his vision who shall i send singular singularity i as god who will go for us Persons, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Persons. When God visited Abraham in Genesis 18, the Bible says, and God decided to visit Abraham. But in what form? He said, Abraham looked up and saw how many men? But the Bible says, God visited Abraham. But God went in form of what? Three men. Three needs. Are you following me? Matthew 28. Go baptize them in the name of the Father the Son, and the Holy To watch full videos and get notifications for new ones, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. God bless you. Sign up with the largest community of Catholics online. Make new friends, chat, post pictures and videos. Make and receive audios and video calls. Interact with lots of priests and religions. Download the app from Google Play Store.